Hi there, this is Raju. Welcome to the, my YouTube channel that is Java Tutorials World. Today we are going to discuss about history of Java. As part of history of Java, I am going to talk about Green Project, Oak and history of Java. Apart from this, I am also going to discuss about Java version history, which covers when each version of Java released and what are all the features that were added to each version of Java. In the other sense, we can tell that what, is, what are the differences between each version of Java. Let's discuss about Green Project. The history of Java started with Green Project. Sun Microsystem has started a project called Green Project in early of 1990s with three Sun engineers called Patrick Nathan, James Grossley and Mike Sheridan. The small team of Sun Engineers is called as Green Team and the main aim of this team is to develop a distribution system which provides communication between electronic devices. But the problem with electronic devices is generally they changes their platforms and chipsets very frequently. So the main aim of this project is they want to build this project once and they want to run this platform this project on all the platforms and Sun Microsystem Sun Microsystems green team has decided to use C++ to develop this project and they also decided to customize existing C++, C++ compiler to develop this particular project and they started their development after starting their development of this green project very soon they realized that C++ is not suitable to develop this particular project and this leads them to develop a new language called Oak. Now let's see how Sun Microsystems new language is named as Oak. Initially it was called as Green Talk by James Grossley and the file extension was also .gt but later it was called as Oak. Actually, oak is the symbol for strength and is also national tree for many countries like USA, France and Germany. Coming to the development of this new language, in 1992, Green Team released a device called Handheld Device. But this device was not that successful at the time. By mid of 1994, this develop development of this new language was almost completed and Sun decided to adapt the Oak language to the needs of World Wide Web. The original idea behind this is Sun wants this new language to release over internet for non-commercial purpose. By that they want to stabilize the new language. Now we will see how and why Oak is converted as Java. Since Sun Microsystem planned to release their new language, they decided to register that language. And lawyers had told Green Team that they could not use the name Oak because it was already trademarked by Oak Technologies. Again, Green Team suggested 10 different names to legal department. Among 10 different names, three of them come back as clean. They are Java, DNA and Silk. According to James Grossley, Java was one of the top choices along with the Silk and the name Java is so unique, got the most positive reactions from all the candidates. So Sun Microsystem decided to name as Java for their new language. Actually, there is a there is a small interesting story behind the name. While developing Java, James Crossley and his team members consumed lot of tea. As a symbolic, they named it as Java. Java is a Java is an island of Indonesia where first coffee was produced. Now we will see 
Java version history. First release of Java was on 23rd January 1996 and this had very unstable APIs and first stable release is Java 1.0.2 which was also called as Java 1 and the next release of Java is JDK 1.1. This was released on 19th February 1997, which includes some of the important features like JDBC, AWT event model, inner classes, RMI, reflection API. And actually in Java 1, Java compiler used to take, used to take a bit more time to compile a ja .java file. This was resolved for this was resolved in JDK 1.1 only for Windows. The next release of Java is Java 2 which was released on 8th December 1998 which is major release in terms of number of classes that were added to Java and from this release onwards Java divided into three parts J2 SC which was also called as Java 2 standard edition J2 EE which was also called as Java 2 Enterprise Edition and J2ME which was also called as Java 2 Micro Edition and from this release onwards Sun decided to give code names while they were in development stage. The code name for this release is Playground and this release includes some of the important features like collection framework and JIT compilers for all the platforms jar signer java foundation classes and java plugin for in the jdbc point of view they have improved api for jdbc in the form of scrollable result sets blob glob batch update and user defined types and this release had audio support in applets and strict fp keyword was also introduced in this release the next release of java is Java 1.3. This was released on 8th May 2000 and this release includes some of the features like Hotspot JVM, JNDI, Java Platform Debugger and J Java Sound API and Synthetic Proxy Classes. The next release of Java is Java 1.4. This was released on 6th February 2002. This release was called as Merlin. This release includes some of the features like assertions, logging API, JDBC 3.0 API, IPv6 support, API, API to handle regular expressions, API to process XMLs, exception handling, preferences API under java.util.prif package. The next release of Java is Java 5.0, which was released on 30 May. 2004. This release was called as Tiger and most of the interview questions will come from this release onwards. This release includes some of the important features like generics, annotations, auto boxing and unboxing, enumerations, varargs, for each loop, static import, new concurrency utilities under java.util.concurrent package and Scanner class was also introduced in this release. The next release of Java is Java 6. This was released on 11th December 2006. From this release onwards, the number 2 was dropped from release name. Actually, in Java 5, the name is J2SC 5.0. They dropped this number 2 from this release onwards and this release includes some of the features like LDAP integration support, pluggable annotations, JDBC 4.0 API, scripting language support, integrated web services, new garbage collector algorithms and some of the performance improvements. The next release of Java is Java 7. This was released on 28th July 2011. This release is also called as Dolphin. From this release onwards, we can use strings in switch. 
statement. This re automatic resource management was implemented in try catch statement, and we can write multiple exceptions in single catch block. And diamond operator for Java collections was also introduced in this release. Watch service to watch changes on registered object. Time sort was implemented in this release and Varag's method was simplified in this release and this release supports some of the new protocols like SCTP protocols and finally graphics APIs was introduced in this release. The next release of Java is Java 8. This was released on 18th May 2014. This is the latest release as of now. From this release onwards, Oracle dropped the code name culture. So this release doesn't have any code name. In this release, the API for date and time was improved. This release includes default and static methods in interfaces, lambda expressions, and null pointer exceptions were handled more effectively as part of this, re this release with the help of optionals. That's it for now. Thanks for watching my video. I will be posting more Java tutorials. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel.